Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the third dimension. The topic for today is formwork or shuttering and its removal time. So, first of all, what exactly is formwork on site? What do you understand when you hear the word formwork or shuttering on construction sites? Well, they're one of the most major components of a construction process. And in fact, it wouldn't be wrong to say that they're the first things you, was, you would see when you enter a construction site. So what is formwork? Well, they're temporary structures that are made on site for a short period of time from different shapes and sizes of plywood. Concrete is poured into these shapes and is left to set. These temporary structures is what molds the concrete into the different elements we usually have on construction sites. For example, the beam slabs and the columns and the walls. So formwork is a sort of mold, which gives shape to the concrete. So as you can see in the pictures on the right side, these wooden pieces that are binded together into a certain shape, that's formwork. And then concrete is poured into it. So what are the different materials which we have for formwork? Well, at number one, we have timber, which is one of the most traditional and cheap and the most widely used material for formwork. At number two, we have the metal formworks. Metal formworks are much more stronger and powerful than timber. They last for a long time and in fact, they're even easy to transport because their overall size is slimmer and smaller as compared to wood. But again, they have higher price tags, they're expensive, and they rust easily. So it depends on the contractor. It depends on the work being done. And at number three, we have formwork that's made from concrete itself. So the best thing about number three is that you, you don't even need to remove it. Once the job is done, it becomes part of the structure. They all have their pros and cons, but it depends on the contractor. It depends on the work being done. It depends on the budget. Moving on. So what are the recommended removal times? For how long do we have to wait until we de-shutter? Well, we have a table right here, which is made from IS-456. It says that at number one for walls and columns, which are vertical members, one or two days, 24 to 48 hours. For slabs, it's three days, and for beams, it's seven days. For staircase, it's five days. And there's even a second part to this table, which is about props. And for example, at number two for slabs, even if the formwork is removed, but the props has to be left underneath. So now the main thing is, what are props? You guys must be wondering. Well, let's go and check what props are. Mm, this 3D diagram which I've made is going to give us a better idea of what formwork is, how it's done, and what props are. So if we zoom in, as you can see, this wooden part of the construction site is called the formwork. And uh, this is what we have been talking about for the last minute. As you can see, these are the adjustable props, which is a sort of underneath support. And uh, this is what the table was talking about. These inclined members within the formwork are called stutes. And uh, these are the, the running members or the running stringers. And... Uh, these right here are the soffits of the formwork. Uh, this is also mentioned in the table. This right here is called formwork. And uh, this is what molds the concrete, the poured concrete into the shapes that we have, the shapes of the elements of a construction site, the beams and slabs. And uh, let's check out the rendered view of this diagram. So here it is. This is the rendered view. And uh, that's how formwork is done. So you guys can have a better idea of what's going on and uh, what we were talking about. And uh, as you can see right here, 
that's how it's done it's on almost all cases in fact let's check out okay this is the night view and uh, that's the morning view let's get back to the notes and let's further talk about this so back to the notes after having a better idea of what props are and what form of is uh, let's get back to our table at number four it says that the removal of props of slabs has to be from 7 to 14 days if it's spanning up to 4.5 meters and if it's something more than 14 days so the top part which is the formwork can be removed but the bottom support the props has to be there and uh, similarly for beams it's 14 to 21 days if the beam is spanning up to 6 meters then 14 days and if it's something more than 21 days and for staircase we have 5 days and another important point to note is that uh, all these timings are for usual conditions where the temperature is above 20 degrees and uh, OPC cement is used, which is the ordinary Portland cement. For special conditions and special temperatures, the timings are going to vary. For example, as you can see, for rapid hardening cement, uh, we can use 50% of what we have mentioned here. So they're going to change, they're going to vary. This was our topic for today, formwork and its removal time. And uh, soon we are going to have another topic which we are going to discuss and talk about. Uh, have a good day.